Hello again. I'm so glad you joined us. This is Pastor Jacqueline Lynch Lawrence from Huntsville, Alabama. We have one more story for you today. It's again being taken from the Old Testament, 2 Kings chapter 19. And it's about Sennacherib, a heathen king, and the angel of the Lord. But before we get started, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your love, for your word. Father, for the promises, just how we see how mighty you act on behalf of your children. Thank you. Bless us now, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. So by way of background, uh, King Hezekiah had been the king of Judah, Jerusalem, for 14 years. And on the 14th year of his reign, a heathen king named Sennacherib besieged the city of Judah he came against the city of Judah and demanded that King Hezekiah pay him a tribute like gold and silver so that he would not destroy the city. So King Hezekiah gave him the tribute, hoping that that would work out, but it did not uh, satisfy King Sennacherib. He wanted more. So while he was waiting for King Hezekiah to perhaps find more gold or whatever he could get from the people to keep him from invading, he began insulting the king of heaven. And he said words like, don't you know that I've already destroyed all these other nations around you and I destroyed their gods? So who is it that's going to be able to keep you from me, from out of my hands? He says, what other gods can keep you because I destroyed those other gods of those other nations. He said, how can the Lord that you call the God of Israel save you from me? So King Hezekiah told the people not to be discouraged by those words. And now let's fast forward to chapter 19, our key text, which is 1935. And I'm going to tell you what happens after this boastful king said all those horrible things against the God of heaven. So Sennacherib, his name is so hard to say, Sennacherib continues his boasting. And this is what the Bible commentaries tell us about that. It says, this king was extremely self-confident that with his numerous chariots, he could conquer any region and overcome all obstacles that might stand in his way. Now, he must have not known about the God of heaven. He should have asked Pharaoh what a foolish man he was. Didn't he realize that he was fighting against the God of heaven? Obviously not. So then King Hezekiah, not to be thwarted, not to be determined to, to run away, he takes his prayer to God. And he goes into the temple and he prays this powerful prayer. And I want to read it for you in Hezekiah. Uh, I'm sorry, in King, 2 Kings 19. And this is what Hezekiah says. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwelleth between the cherubims, thou art God, even thou alone. Of all the kingdoms of the earth thou hast made heaven and earth. Lord, bow down thine ear and hear. Open thine eyes and see, and hear the words of Sennacherib, which thou hast sent, which hast sent him to reproach the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of, the St of Syria have destroyed the nations of their lands, and they have cast their gods into the fire. But they were no gods. They were the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore, they have destroyed them. Now, therefore, O Lord God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord, even God, even thou only. Isn't that a magnificent prayer that Hezekiah prayed? And so prophet Isaiah shows up on the scene and he tells King Hezekiah that the Lord has heard his prayer. And not only does he tell him that God has heard his prayer, he tells him that this heathen king, which has raged against you all this time, not only will his foot not set foot into this city, but he will be destroyed by his own hand. He'll be killed by his own sword. And so that night, um, oh wait, let me tell you this, Bible commentary said that God's honor was at stake because Sennacherib, Sennacherib, told you I couldn't say that name, Sennacherib openly defiled God and had undermined his authority on the earth. So here's what happened. Here's the miracle, my friends. In 2 Kings 19, 35 through 36, the Bible tells us that one angel, the angel of the Lord, went out at night 
and by his own hand he killed 185,000 Assyrian soldiers while they were encamped against Israel. And when King Sennacherib woke up in the morning, he saw that all of his soldiers were dead and he retreated. He went back to his own country. He never bothered Jerusalem and Judah and King Hezekiah again. And then the Bible says, and his own sons killed him with the sword. Now that's exactly what the prophet Isaiah had said would happen. So here's a reminder for us today. We know that the enemy of our souls threatens us daily. He's always got something to cause us to, to think about our faith, to shake our faith, to shake us in our belief in God. But I want you to be reminded that he has no power on this earth. Remember, one angel against an army and God took care of that for his children. God tells us also in his word that the angels are all around. They are ministering spirits to minister to you and to me, to take care of us in all of our ways. In fact, in the book of Psalm, the 91st verse, let me read to you this scripture. And it says, verses 9 through 11, Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you nor shall any plagues come nigh your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. Isn't that a powerful scripture? Something that we can really hold on to. God is ever powerful. He's always available. He never fails or forsakes us. And he has angels watching over you and watching over me. So remember, the heathen king Sennacherib and all of his boastful. He said, who is it that can take you out of my hand? He should have asked somebody. It's the God of heaven. He is the one who can protect his children. Be reminded of that. Okay. And be blessed until we meet again. God bless. Bye-bye.